Hello, this is Janet Michael. In addition to hosting The Valley Today each weekday at noon on the River 95.3, I also produce podcasts, and I'm excited to introduce you to a new podcast series in partnership with Lord Fairfax Community College. Having provided higher education and career training for the past half century, LFCC is tightly interwoven into the fabric of the Northern Shenandoah Valley and Piedmont regions. Join me every week for conversations with current and former students to hear their funny and inspiring stories as we learn about their journey to higher education, the role that LFCC has played, where they are now, and where they plan to go. We'll also talk to current and former professors about their experiences and best memories of LFCC over the past 50 years. Get every single episode as they're released on our website at theriver953.com under the podcast tab, or you can subscribe for free in Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, on Spotify, Amazon Music, wherever you listen to podcasts. Just search for LFCC Stories. Hello and welcome to the Valley Today. I am your host, Janet Michael. Happy Monday as you are listening to the show today. However, it is a beautiful Friday afternoon as we are pre-recording our conversation because I am standing here next to Olivia Hilton, the director of community development for the town of Stralsburg. It is Strolling Stralsburg Monday. I am super excited that you're here as always, and this is now segment two of the Strolling Stralsburg, so it's a thing now. And I'd like to point out that you've gotten a promotion since you were on the show last. I'm pretty sure it's because we did the show last, and you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. It really it is because of you, Janet, 100%. I do have to slide, and then it's interim but yeah. if, if anybody has any opinions, you can contact yeah. town manager Y. Pearson. And- <laughs> hey, I have had two interims on the show that I have then reached out to afterwards and they became permanent. All right. So, wow. and <laughs> as it happens, we're standing in one of my favorite shops in Stralsburg because there is orange everywhere I turn. So, you know, you pick something up a little nice for me today. It might be even easier for me to make that recommendation for you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, and, you know, I, I'm just really excited to continue to support our community and, and in, really in any capacity. But Sue at Clementine here, I think I just gave away the secret spot. But uh, she has absolutely been a, an avid supporter of our department, all the events, a, a, everything. And I just love coming in the shop. Sue, this is one of my favorite places. I had no idea you were here until a couple of years ago. Carrie Hahn mentioned it on Tourism Tuesday when we were talking about my favorite color being orange. And she says, I can't believe you've never been to Clementine's. I came that weekend. I love this place. How in the world did you come up with the idea? How did you get it started? Well, you know, orange is the happiest color. Right? And it is also a very good luck color. So I think my um, obsession with orange began years ago. Um, someone that we knew was using orange in their wedding because it is such a positive color. And then my daughter started Clementine as an Etsy shop, and it was her nickname, and then it just grew from there. When we got the building, we decided to give Clementine a dedicated brick-and-mortar retail space, and it's grown from there. We have definitely embraced the orange, (laughs) and so I'm so glad you found us, because... How can you not be happy when there's orange in your life? Right? And that's what I always tell people. It doesn't matter what the weather is outside. If I am wearing orange, I'm bringing the sunshine with me. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And she's considering painting this backdrop here orange, so I think you should try to persuade. We've been talking about doing our (laughs) pop of orange behind me on my mantle. So that's perfect. So So everybody that's listening right now needs to come into Clementine's (laughs) and give Sue their opinion on whether or not it should be orange. We'll do, this is our our impromptu (laughs) poll. I know, it's just paint, but I figured that would make it even more, you know, upbeat in here. We want people to have a positive experience and having the color around doesn't, doesn't hurt that at all. So So I know that Olivia and I are standing here and we're looking at all of the amazing stuff. For those that are listening to us on the radio show right now, give me a rundown of some of the things that people can expect to find when they walk in the door. Okay, sure. Well, Clementine really has evolved. Um, We were open three years in November. So we're, you know, we've been here a while. So it's definitely changed and um, morphed over the years. We have a really good variety of old and new. So we started out more with the vintage and the furniture and the smalls, but we have so many people in here that are always looking for a fun, unique gift idea, and so we brought in a lot of gift-type things in here as well. And one of the things that we've really tried to focus on is um, using local small businesses 
And also, even if it's not a local small business, another small business that could be across the country. So I have a place that I'm always looking for, different things for the store. It's almost like an Etsy wholesale. And that's where I find a lot of the vendors. So it's always changing because I can get small amounts of things. And if it works out, fine. And if it doesn't, we can try something else. But it definitely feeds the retail therapy part of my (laughs) (laughs) and mine (laughs) my personality so it is so fun to find new and unique things to bring in here and um you know we just have fun with it and it's great because you're not kidding i mean i'm standing here now and i'm looking at and i'm going to give her a shout out again because it made her so happy when i gave her a shout out a few weeks ago bull buffalo candles local company absolutely there while olivia and i were standing here you had someone bring in some bloody mary mix yes Yes. local person. I yes. mean, it, 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 everywhere you turn, you're supporting a community, whether it's the Strasburg, Shenandoah County community or somebody else's. It's warm yes. and fuzzy. And especially with this past year, with the impact that everything has had on the small businesses, it, I take a lot of satisfaction in knowing that, you know, I have companies in here that are like me and they're all just trying to get through this. So when you bring their products in, there's like a really good feel good part of that that I really enjoy as well. Um, Becky from Bold Buffalo, her candles are so amazing. She has a loyal following. She changes it up for the seasons. We're looking forward to the spring scents coming in. It's fun to see what she you know, comes up with every season in the names and the different <laughs> scents. So we're excited about that. And then we did. We had a delivery today from Clark and Hopkins, which are up out of Middletown, just a few miles from us. Mm-hmm. And they have an amazing Bloody Mary mix and hot so- line of hot sauces that are award-winning and nationwide. So having that in here is just such a such a fun thing. And you've got jewelry, you've got things to decorate the house, the kitchen, the bedroom, the the living room, all of those kinds of things. And you have like shelves and shelves full of chalk paint. Yes, we do. We carry the Dixie Bell chalk paint. And that was one of um one of the things that go back to the roots of when we started. We really before Clementine we had a brick and mortar store. We were really into refinishing furniture and painting. Um, we don't have the time for it like we used to, but we do have the full line of Dixie Bell products. So they're so user friendly and so easy to change your decor. If you have a neat wood end table and you want to change up your decor, a fresh coat of paint makes all the difference and you can make it match the decor exactly how you want to. So we really have enjoyed the Dixie Bell products. They just came out with their new line of paints called Silk, which they're not a chalk paint, but they are an all-in-one mineral paint and they don't even need a top coat and they're very user-friendly as well. And they have a whole new line of colors. So it's been a lot of fun to um, keep that in here and watch people transform a piece of furniture and they'll bring pictures in or send them to me and I'm like oh my gosh that's just amazing I know I'm guilty yes (laughs) yes yes it has helped me figure out my kitchen color my bookcase color my all my colors yes my buffet table color and everything's starting to pop in the house yeah and you know years ago there was a um a show on HGTV I don't even know if it was HGTV at the time but the the decorator was like don't be afraid of color Mm -hmm. and I feel Clementine embraces that you know, especially with the orange, obviously, which is not always a traditional color you can go with. But, you know, it's just paint. It's just a color. You can always change it. So enjoy I'm, it. I love that you've got the new mineral-based paints or the mineral paints because chalk paint has always scared me to death. Really? I've always felt like I would screw it up and it would just look like a hot mess. Yeah, so I've yeah. never used chalk paint. Yeah, no. And it you would be surprised. I tell people just start. And you'll figure it out. It's not hard. It's fun. And it is so gratifying. So many people have used painting projects almost as therapy when they've been stuck at home. Oh, especially so, during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, if well, you're stuck at home and you want something to do, get a jar of paint, a piece of furniture, and just go. Well, talk go about instant it. gratification. You can look at something ugly, do a little bit of work to it, and suddenly it's beautiful again, and then you're done. You can put <laughs> it somewhere, you can admire it, and move on to the next. It's yes, like running the vacuum yes. or doing the dishes. It's instant gratification oh, when yeah. you're finished. When I guess talking about... You know, being able to change up things. I know Sue won our Frosty Frenzy window decorating contest in the Christmas time. uh, And she's notorious for being one of our brightest and prettiest windows. So can you tell a little bit about... Yeah, what's in the window? What goes into it? I know it's it's just green, lime green right now. I saw it walking last night, walking down the street. Yeah, we definitely needed some green in our life after the winter. So we definitely went 
not a St. Patrick's green, but just a spring green. It just, I mean, you can't help but to look at it and not feel good about the green and the fact that spring is coming and you just kind of feel it with the window. And I, you know, a lot of times with the windows, I'll go with whatever the holiday is. And of course I did that with my frosty frenzy window, but What I love about the windows is you can make sort of your own little statement with whatever mood or vibe you're feeling. And, you know, when people stop and take a picture of your window or the kids are like looking, it's just it's just such a small little joyful thing to do and to change the window. Sometimes it's a little challenging for me to figure out what direction I want to go. But overall, once I'm done, I'm like, oh my God, the window looks so good. And it's just like, it's like redecorating a room, you know, for whatever time it is, but I get to do it a lot throughout the year. So I do have fun with it. And once I find my inspiration and my jumping off point, I just kind of go for it and have fun with it. When you can literally shop in your window, it's items from your store you put in your window. Yes, yes. <laughs> I feel like any you can anyone can talk you into. I like this furniture underneath all of your things, and you're like, let's <laughs> I know, in, it's I know. I, I, as a matter of fact, I just had a lady in a few minutes ago. She bought a plant stand that I had, and it holds like five or six plants. And I was like, well, let me just get all the plants off of here. <laughs> but you know, she was so excited about it, and it's going to be a great fit in her home. And I, I tell people that I like to think of myself almost as foster care for vintage where I'm finding a home where something's going to be reloved again for years. And that's a very gratifying thing to be a part of. I, all these things that I pick and find and put in here are things that I've had a connection with that drew me to them. And knowing they're going somewhere to be loved is it's, I mean, I have the best job. I can't complain. I love it here. <laughs> this so, is be- not work. <laughs> Before we continue our stroll further down uh, the street, tell me your address here and your hours. Okay. Clementine is open Wednesdays through Sundays, noon till 6. However, let me... Um, put a little clarification there. A lot of times I'm here outside of my normal hours. I'm usually here till at least seven on Fridays and Saturdays. The core hours are, of course, noon to six, but I always tell people, if you see the orange chair, I'm there. (laughs) Outside the door is my orange chair, which I change it up for the seasons with the flowers and plants. And if that's outside, I'm in here. Don't hesitate to come knock on the door. Send me a text. I'll be happy to meet you. I live very close. Um, I spend as much time here as I can because I do love being here so never hesitate but if you come by there's a good chance that we're here so (laughs) and where can people find more information do you have a website facebook instagram how can they see the beautiful pictures of what's going on in here yeah everything is on the we have a website which is clementinevintage.com and then we also have our facebook page and instagram which is also under clementine vintage please follow us and um Lexa takes care of all of that for me, and she's always posting pictures of new things that we've received so you can be up to date on what's coming in and out of Clementine. And um, it's kind of a happy place, so it's like eye candy. So feel free to follow us, and we're at 148 East King Street. Look for the orange flags, and we'd be happy to meet you. So come on out and see us. And I will take a picture of the vintage orange flower teapot, the orange (laughs) scarf, and the new Clementine's mug I just bought and put on the Valley Today Instagram so everybody can see how eclectic things are here. I'm so excited. You got such cute stuff. It's all awesome. (laughs) Yes. So, Olivia, are you ready to continue our stroll? We'll take a quick commercial break, and we'll stroll down Stralsburg and come back and be talking to somebody new? I am ready. Okay. (laughs) Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. We're going to do all of that and be back in just a couple of minutes. Got a financial decision to make or a goal to reach, but you don't know where to start? You've come to the right place. Introducing Quick Money Chats with the Northern Shenandoah Valley Financial Education Program. Visit tinyurl.com backslash quickmoneychat to schedule a virtual chat with a staff member or trained volunteer. We won't tell you what to do, but we will give you the tools you need to choose wisely. And because Virginia Cooperative Extension is part of Virginia Tech and Virginia State, your land-grant universities, you can be sure that our information is credible and trustworthy. And you'll know that we aren't trying to sell you something. Maybe you want to improve your credit score or reduce your banking overdraft fees or even figure out if you can afford to buy that car. Sorting through tons of information on the internet can be overwhelming and sometimes it can be hard to know who to trust. Schedule a quick money chat and get the information you need to take action. 
Go to tinyurl.com backslash quick money chat and get financial education personalized for you. Welcome back to the Valley today. I am your host, Janet Michael. It is still Monday as you are listening to the show today. However, it is still Friday afternoon as Olivia Hilton and I are strolling Strasburg. She is the Director of Community Development for the town of Strasburg. In the first segment, we had a lovely conversation with Sue from Clementine Vintage, my favorite place. I'm picking up my stuff on my way back through. Oh, yeah. But now we have moseyed even further down King Street. And where where are we now? Because it's very green here. It is very green. <laughs> yeah, to go with the, the spring spirit. Um, we have ventured down um, to Pot Town Organics, which is what we would call an anchor store on this side of West King. Um, so we're here with Janet, who, and, gosh, and I throw, I'm putting you on the spot here, but how long have you all been here? Six years. Six years. Six, six so you were years ahead of the, the game of the new vibrant Strasburg downtown. So she really helped kick, kick us off. So thank you for coming today. I know you uh, came in special to meet with us um, and can tell us a little bit about Pot Town and why everyone should come here for their spring needs. Sure, sure. I was going to say, boy, this is coming up on our time of the year. Everybody's busy buying seeds right now, getting their soil to put their seeds in. We've already sold some potatoes. People are looking forward to onions and sets and sweet potatoes and just getting the garden ready. So basically right now is, this is a very big store. It's a lot bigger inside than you think it is when you're parked out front or driving by. Oh, yes, yes. This was Arts' hardware store uh, for 60 plus years. Oh. I was, uh, at the time, I was actually looking to get out of my greenhouse business and go into, I said, oh, a little flower shop (laughs) with little artsy things inside, you know, that are garden related. And we wanted to buy the building that we were in. And we saw the sign outside here and it was like, well, let's take a look. Um, It's like 4,500 square feet worth of building. We couldn't figure out what we were going to put in here, but I think we filled it You figured it out pretty quick. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we also sell, have a complete line of beekeeping items in the back. So that has kept us, people are coming in right now and getting boxes and swarm lures and new suits, things like that. You can Um, even buy the honey here too. Oh yes, we love to get local honey from, you know, Tom's Brook and Edinburgh. Uh, I think Ron sold five gallons of honey today. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, today. The breweries, well, the people are making, they make mead. Uh, That makes more sense. I'm like, I go through like an ounce of honey in like... Forever. Yeah. (laughs) So how many small businesses do you feel like you support in your space? Because I know that you're a very pro community and, oh my and being a space that vendors Eight, can come and set up here and they 10, can, yeah, something like that. Yeah, we have little areas that you know we ask people to bring their wares in. Strasburg, actually, Shenandoah County is so full of creative, mm-hmm. people, oh yeah, artistic mm-hmm. people. You can tell by their lovely murals. Oh yeah, and you yes. ha- you're home to the first mural, the first mural and, and the last the one. The last, yeah. So there's two murals on either side of Pot Town. Mm-hmm. So she has fully embraced the uh, the artistic side of Strasburg too. So when you opened the shop, was it part of your overall plan to be this partner for other businesses and to give them a place to showcase what they've got too, or did that kind of come it as just, the years progressed? My husband and I are both getting older, and I, I said we'll start this business for the next generation with them in mind. And I think part of that is showing that we can support other people. We're not going to be at this forever. (laughs) None of us are going to be at this forever. I want the younger generation to know that we care about the environment too. And that, you know, that, hey... We can have businesses like this. They will stay in business, too. Oh, my you were gosh. Yeah, because she was mm-hmm. telling us before we started recording for the show, you've really seen an increase in younger yeah. customer yes, traffic. Yes, yes. I, I feel privileged that they come to our store and shop. I, I get a big kick out of the high school ones that hold hands. And, but they're, <laughs> they're into houseplants right now. Um, we've got a houseplant terrarium section in the back, and it, it's... It just amazes me how many young people 
Because I think we forget about that sometimes. We think about, like you were mentioning earlier, we think about having the vegetable garden and growing our tomatoes, and we think about putting tulip bulbs in the ground Mm -hmm. or planting azalea bushes. (laughs) But houseplants are a thing. They have always been a thing, (laughs) but they're kind of like the redheaded stepchild of gardening, so to speak. my, My generation, when I was their age, we were doing house plants. It was like, how many could you get in there? And this generation is pretty much oh. doing the same It comes thing. in waves. That's what my mom always says. She's like, next thing you're going to be wearing bell bottoms and doing the whole thing. But, well, Bring hey, it on. Right? No, I can, well, I'm, I think I'm too short. I can't rock it. See, but, I can't either. Yes. Oh, yeah. But yeah. the jumpsuit, I'm in that life. But, um, <laughs> but it's funny because it, it kind of connects with what Sue was saying about making your Zoom wall. You were talking mm-hmm. about your Zoom wall attractive, adding a little bit of plants and behind you when you're on a Zoom call. I know my office has added three. this this week so i've overly committed very soon do you spend a lot of time giving advice i know when when we walked in and we were looking at some of the different plants that you had under the lights i'm immediately asking you questions about i got seeds to start in my basement can i do this and and how come my orchid isn't blooming do you do a lot of that during the day that's yeah that's that's all all of us do that in here a lot of that answering questions and we don't mind if we know we're going to tell you we want you to be successful at growing. I mean, to learn from my mistakes. Having the greenhouse, people go, oh my God, I killed this and I killed that. And I'm like, I've killed thousands of plants. <laughs> <laughs> She's a mass plant murderer yeah, plant in some murder. cases. <laughs> well, and I think uh, another great example is, so Janet actually kept the farm, Strasburg Farmer's Market going here until it shifted. So she passed the torch to oh. our uh-huh. Allison Pond is our um, phenomenal farmer's market manager, but she volunteers her time. We're going to stroll Strasburg with them in yes, May, right? we are. Yeah. We are. So uh, Janet actually was able to help transition it from her space here mm. to the Strasburg Square last year. We had the space in the breezeway or whatever. And, you know, it was like, we'll just host you guys. It's a dry place for them to be and no charge just to get them up on their feet and get the hang of it. So it's been a good transition, too. Yeah. Yeah. The farmer's market's great. It's still hanging in. I love it. And she gave us this huge banner. It's fantastic. That big farmer's market, or the big flags. The nice. Like 15 feet high. We put it right in the, right in the uh, walkway. So. Cool. So when we came in, I noticed you mentioned this too earlier. You've got seed packets. There are house plants that we can buy. You've got pots. I've, I've got two of them, two orange ones, of course. Shocking, I know. <laughs> Sitting on the counter to buy before we leave. You have chicks. Oh, yeah. that's. I was going to say, we'll probably sell a few of them. Therefore, we sell the eggs. Okay. And this is just a new batch of chicks that we picked up. <laughs> and someone will come in and say they would like, can I get a couple of chicks? You know, we'll probably sell a few of them off. There's 24 in there. People can come in and pick up, you know, house plants or, or plants that they want to take to somebody to give as a gift. I mean, there are so many mm-hmm. different options that you offer here. Yes. I was going to say, you kind of departments. We're, um, you know, we have things for you to do to garden organically. We have the fertilizers. We, we can advise you on pesticides insect control, disease control. Well, um, even just the accessories. That's what I'm always drawn to is there's a lot of shiny <laughs> things in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody likes a wind chime or a little sparkly, you know, wind. Uh, Something kinetic, to glitter in the sun. Kinetics are very oh, yeah. in right now. You know, things that move in the wind. Uh, we're spending a lot of time in our backyard, so I actually got some fountains coming in. Oh, that's like, exciting. Some tabletop Ooh. fountains. That's well, like, like that. people are spending more time outside. And I think that's going to be one of those trends that sticks around. I think even after we get to the other side of this pandemic, people have really come to appreciate what's in their backyard and they're going to want to spend more time there and make it more homey and friendly and enjoyable for themselves. Yes, and a peaceful place. I understand a lot of people are, you know, are working from home. You know, they're stuck in front of a computer Step outside for a break, Mm -hmm. you know, to relax, to have a few uh, plants and flowers and maybe the sound of water or wind chimes, something like that, just to keep it peaceful and zen. And it's all right here. Yeah. It's all right here. It's all right here. And if you need, if anyone is driven downtown Strasburg, our flower baskets were done by Janet. So I have to give her credit on those, those big, beautiful baskets when the downtown streetscape was finished. So that was, uh. 
your your uh, work in action. Uh, drying. <laughs> <laughs> so, Janet, where are you located? Tell everybody what is your address this and what is, is your hours. Okay, this is 181 West King Street. People are like, you know, where exactly? If you can't see the murals, there's one on either <laughs> side. We sometimes tell people we're next to the Strasburg Library or Caddy Wampus from the uh, <laughs> post office. And we have additional parking in the back. There's a lot of extra parking in the back. There's two entrances. There's a front and the back, so you can get in here. Our hours are Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5. And I'll put a little plug in for the Virginia St. Paulia Society meets on the second Sunday every month. We're trying to start back up again. And if you're into African violets... We have a blast in here. We trade a lot of things back and forth and learn something new every month. Rich Filet is actually our teacher. Oh, I love Rich. Yeah, and he's a blast. So he's he keeps it he keeps it real interesting for us. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so where can people get more information? Do you have a Facebook page, we have social a Facebook media? Page. We have a, a a kind of a basic web page too. And uh, the young people have told me I needed to put more postings on <laughs> Facebook <laughs> and Instagram. I'm trying, you know, the old dog's got to learn new tricks. <laughs> hey, you're not calling it the Facebook. So I feel like you're ahead of the game. Yeah, you've <laughs> Already, yeah, she's already ahead, way ahead of a lot of other people. <laughs> well, Olivia, this has been fun strolling Strasburg today on a Friday afternoon. Uh, we're going to do it every single month. We're going to talk to two new people next month. You know, and maybe by then you won't be interim. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> but no, thank you so much for coming down. And of course, Janet, thank you for well, all the Janets, but yeah. thank you for uh, coming down special too to talk to us. Um, but it's just, it's a pleasure and it's a beautiful day and it, it, I'm so looking forward to doing this with you every month. And, uh, the radio show may be ending now, but our strolling will not. So oh, yeah, there's still a, other things that, uh, I got a Nancy's gift card in my pocket. Oh, that's where we're going. <laughs> awesome. Well, we are going to wrap up our conversation today. We have, uh, of course you are listening to it on a Monday afternoon. We have pre-recorded it on a Friday afternoon. Keep an eye out on the Discover Strasburg Facebook page. On the River 95.3's Facebook page, we will post when we're going to record this again in April so that you can join us and stroll Strasburg with us. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll have a brand new episode of The Valley today ready to go for you. I believe, I know it's Tourism Tuesday, and I believe that it is Copper Fox Distillery. So we're talking whiskey tomorrow. Meet me back here just a few minutes after noon.